Good morning, y'all. Man, do I love some good news. Look, unless y'all been living under a dadgum rock, you've heard at this point that Lori Lightfoot 2.0 Michelle Grisham down there in New Mexico tried to issue a 30-day public health order to ban the carrying of legal guns. Public health? Look, next thing you know, Sheriff Allen, who is the uh, sheriff in that county with brass balls, he said, we ain't enforcing sh <laughs> And then the battle lines are drawn to make it all just better and better and better. Yesterday, a federal judge struck it down because it's the lunacy for what it is. You can't just wake up in the morning and decide I'm gonna have my coffee and then rescind the Second Amendment. <laughs> Who the hell are you, woman? You know what I'm talking about? You know, can we just have a few seconds of the battle hymn of the Republic just playing over this, the video right here? Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. Liberal mental illness loses, Patriots win. It's all awesome. But I wanna tell you something. My first thought when I heard this thing, honest to God, my first thought when Sheriff Allen said we ain't enforcing this and Karen is sitting there crossing her arms just freaking out and having a liberal conniption fit, my first thought was sometimes mansplaining is actually necessary. <laughs> you know, I've always said if these freaks go straight up anti-constitutional, if they actually do that, it really won't matter in real America because nobody's enforcing nothing. This would be like removing all non-drunk drivers from the roadways so that we can reduce drunk driving accidents. You know, I'm really not surprised though because Michelle Grissom just reminds me of every single human resources lady stuck up there in a self-righteous office somewhere, hates men, hates testosterone, and this is her big moment. Her big moment, except now, everyone's laughing at her. <laughs> you know, maybe she can go on The View one day and just discuss everything on that panel with all the other wildebeest, but that's about as far as her career is ever gonna get. New Mexico is the wild, wild west, dumbass. Everyone's always gonna be strapped out there. You got the sheriff, you got the federal judge, and then you got New Mexico's own attorney general jumping in and saying he ain't gonna enforce it either. And the attorney general is a Democrat. Can we just buy this man a beer? Look, we may not agree with him on policy whatsoever, but at least he's read the damn Constitution. Governor Grissom is exactly what happens when men start acting like betas and evil politicians see this as their way to slide back in because they don't think you're going to say nothing. It's time for us to power up, man. Hell, I'd love to see every single guy on this channel stacking NMN supplements. You know what I'm saying? Just stay full of energy, more athletic, full of life. And the Black Forest NMN, by the way, is this stuff that makes me feel like I got shot out of a can every single morning about 11 a.m. And y'all thought it was just the coffee. Big Pharma's trying to monopolize this and they're trying to move it from a supplement category to a drug category, which is complete BS. Go to blackforestsupplements.com, looks like this, NMN, and for the next 48 hours, I think they're doing a buy two, get one free deal, blackforestsupplements.com slash buddy, and I will put the link below. I want y'all to remember one ancient principle, and this is gonna be controversial, all right? But I'm just gonna tell you. A political leader only has power as long as the people acknowledge that power. We're the ones actually running this country. And don't ever forget it. Used to be, right after Monday Night Football, uh, Star Trek used to come on. And I never used to watch it. I used to fall asleep to it. But Star Trek would come on about 9 p.m. Y'all remember this? Back in the 90s? And this is about the time where your drunk uncle says goodnight to the family, climbs on his tractor, and drives home. Maybe just my family. <laughs> Here's where I'm going with this. Captain Picard, who I've always been a big fan of, he said his most famous quote, there are times, sir, when men of good conscience cannot blindly follow orders. Damn, does that just not make you, does that, is that not the spirit of America right now? And get this too, as ironic as it seems, they can actually charge her, this governor in New Mexico, with the same federal charge they hit Trump with. Section 242 of Title 18 makes it a crime for any person under any color of the law to willfully deprive a person a right or privilege protected by the Constitution or the laws of the United States. Now, I think since the ban has already been struck down and everybody's laughing about it, and it doesn't apply to law enforcement, all the sheriffs of Albuquerque should band together and deputize every law-abiding citizen of Albuquerque. Don't you think heads would completely explode if we did that? Until the Constitution requires background checks and permits for journalists whose lives have destroyed entire cities, don't even think about trying to rearrange the Second Amendment. Michelle Grisham's political future at this point has got about as much hope as a guy trying to sell David Allen Coe t-shirts outside a BLM riot. <laughs> Y'all be good.